Hi everyone, this is your girl Miss Chica. Um, today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be applying some e.l.f. foundation in the color almond. So I hope it is my color. Right now I'm doing my eyebrows with the um, e.l.f. Um, eye contouring palette and the color dark so I just shaped my eyebrows and so I'm just trying to fill them in a little bit Taylor turn the TV off Turn off the TV. Yeah, I think. Okay. And so the next item I'm going to be using is the mineral infused face primer from e.l.f. All e.l.f. products I'm going to be applying on my face right now. And also the color almond. Now I had these from a previous haul and I need to find out if this foundation fits me. The liquid foundation. So I'm going to be doing an application of that right now. And this is the e.l.f. Um, primer, face primer. First time using this as well. So for all of these things, this is a review. And it has a pump. I hope there's something in here because it really feels like there's nothing in here. So I'm going to put a little on my finger. Oh. And it's clear. See that? So I'm going to put that all over my face. Now I have extremely oily skin, so I hope this does not, you know, enhance the oil on my skin. Get it in there good. Put a little on my eyes. Now for my eyebrows, I say this in every video, when I am doing my makeup, I have extremely thin eyebrows on the end, so please do not make fun of me, do not ask me why my eyes look like that, that's because the hair grows very, very thin there and I try my best to outline it and it only picks up whatever the hairs grab, okay? Um, so that was enough. I just put it on the face primer from e.l.f., which is $3 as well. And, um, I do need to conceal my face. So I don't have an e.l.f. concealer face, e.l.f. concealer, so I'm going to be using my Postal Sense palette. E.l.f., oops, this is the blush. Elf um, concealer palette. And as you can see, I have been going to town with this palette. <laughs> yes. So let me see. So I do need to conceal my blemishes. This is very difficult. Oh. I need a mirror. <laughs> Let me see. 
I'm trying to use something that's like close to my skin color because every time I use this concealer and this palette it's really really difficult for me because they're very dry like you see how it's looking on my skin like making me look pale a little bit and I don't like that but I need to get these dark spots and red marks out of my face though before I apply the foundation See how that covers up those blemishes and the pimples. That's really what I'm trying to conceal. And I use this color right here. This color right here. Oops. Right there. I tried this one, but it's too light. So definitely these three are definitely too dark for me. <laughs> but um, using what I can just to conceal but I'm doing it lightly okay put a little right here too all right so um, I tried to see the two can you get that tape I put um Two foundations on my arm, my, on my hand. This lighter color here is my MAC foundation. Okay, that I purchased at Macy's. And this is the color NC44. And I tried to put the two colors together to see how they look, you know, beside each other. And this right here is the color Almond. And um, the ELF foundation. Now, I purchased two other e.l.f. foundations already and they did not match. One was the color uh, Buff and the other one was the color... <sighs> Caramel and it was too light for me. So I'm going to try this almond. So if this almond is too dark for me then that means that definitely I will be mixing the almond and the caramel together to get the look that I need. So here I go. Wish me luck. There it is. So I'm going to be using the five dot method. Okay. To apply my foundation and it comes with a pump. Just put a little bit more on. What you see there is still the MAC foundation and I did not mix it. Now, what I've been noticing, every time I apply ELF foundation, it makes me look pale, just as it's doing right now, like it's too light for my skin. I want to really try to blend this in really well. I can't see myself wearing the next color up is the very dark color the darkest color that they have now in the tinted moisturizer the tinted moisturizer my color is sand and it's excellent
But looking for the um, foundation, I did not see the color sand. So I don't know. I'll do the best I can with this. And really blend it out. Now I don't know if it's the concealer making my skin look like this. Good and it creases. I have to do like this, I gotta stretch. <laughs> but I wanna get in the creases, the folds, on the nose. So, this is my foundation application with the color almond. The light down some. Not bad. I just want a little bit of light. It's too much. Making me look pale. So I want to blend it in with my hairline. Down here. Now, I don't have a, um, I don't have the powder, so I really can't set it. What I think I'll try to use, let me see. This video right here is just going to be solely on just the foundation. I do have the high definition powder and I do have uh, the sunscreen protection. So maybe I could use. What is this? I told me go, I told me go. This is Complexion Perfection. So, Sheer Formula brightens and neutralizes the skin. Blend the powder over the entire face to brighten and even out skin tones as well as neutralizing any redness. Well, I don't have any redness. Let's see, a high definition powder. I don't know, we'll see. So far, this is the application of my almond L foundation. So I'm going to use a little bit of ooh, high definition powder. Now I'm not going to use this because I don't want to get any foundation on it. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. foundation brush. Well, take a little bit of that shine out. I didn't even open it because it's spilling like all over the thing. So I just use whatever is on the thing to clean it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Lightly dusted. See you in part two of my blush application and my eyeshadow application for the fall, okay?